Welcome once again to the People of the Free Gift podcast, where we ground believers in their identity in Christ and equip them to reach out to those caught in religion. We're glad you joined us. This is an episode of our Evangelistic Principles series where we take snippets of other teachings in which we talk about evangelistic principles from the Bible and we showcase them for you so that it will better equip you to reach your friends and family for Christ. My name is Jonathan Lawton. I live in Crow Agency. I pastor the Southern Baptist Church there, Absalica Baptist Church. I've been there 21 years. And for the last three years, I've been the pastor at First Baptist in Hardin. How does that happen? I can tell you about it on the break. But I, I'm, I'm grateful today for this training. We have people from both of those churches here. Plus, Crow Community Baptist Church. The American Baptist Church has a group here. So... Anyways, I'm supposed to talk to you about connecting with your community. Some ideas, some ways. I mean, church is not just about us coming and sitting inside four walls, is it? I heard a story. It's about a duck church. You ever heard about a duck church? Well, every Sunday the ducks all waddle down to the church. Where they quacked and quacked their praises, and their duck pastor got up and quacked and quacked and quacked to them, and then they all waddled home. It's not a real story, sorry. I, 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 I like that story because I think sometimes that's us. We come to church, we praise God, we have a good time together, and then we go home. Church isn't just a place, it's also what God's called us to be. Right? Be the church. So how can we connect with our community? How about let's have a wild beast feast? What? Why not have a wild beast feast? What's a wild beast feast? Come on, somebody tell me. Yeah. It's a potluck with all kinds of different meat. Wild meat. Deer, antelope, elk, buffalo, whatever. Let me tell you what. If you're honest, in every one of our churches, there's one group that we're having a hard time reaching. Men. Men will come to a wild beast feast. You know, invite them. Let them cook. You know, you can get uh, door prizes and different things. Get them to your church. I mean, this kind of goes with inviting your friends, but also connecting with our community. I'm going to share some things that we can try. Some I've tried. Some I'd like to try again. Some I want to try. But what about school supplies? Every community, all of our communities have schools, right? Do kids need school supplies? When do they need school supplies? Two times a year. When? September, August, September, whenever it starts, right? And January, after Christmas break. By then, the pencils are down to... One one time, our church, with some help from some other churches... We're able to supply school supplies to every kid at Crow School. It was almost 300 kids. And I don't mean just a pencil. I mean, they had everything they needed. And then the local gas station, not in co- conjunction with the corporation or whatever, they've, they got backpacks, and together we put supplies in backpacks and gave them to each class, uh, each kid in each class. Of course, the uh, big gas company got their name in the paper, but everybody knew that that came from our church. We need to connect with our churches. 
well, along with the school thing, what about adopt a classroom at the school? For example, you could do it for a month, you could do it for the year. Let's say, for example, you chose a kindergarten class and your church was going to adopt that classroom. What could you do for that classroom? They need snacks. I can guarantee you kindergartners need snacks. Then you can buy. I mean, Costco or Sam's Club, the big animal crackers. You know, there's just different things that you could probably think of. How about a community car wash for free? Man, I saw one the other day. Cheerleaders were fundraising, and they wanted $15. (laughs) Guess who didn't get their car washed? (laughs) I'm confessing, sorry, but (laughs) what if you did it for free? In Jesus' name, on behalf of First Baptist or City Church or whatever your church's name, I heard of, I've never done this, but I like the idea Paying for gas. Just showing up at the local gas station and saying, you know, for the next 10 cars or the next 10 minutes, our church is going to pay for the gas. Huh? Yeah, real impromptu. I mean, if you tell, you know, if you tell everybody in Roundup, hey, on Saturday morning we're going to gas up everybody's car, you'll have 400 or 500 people, maybe more. But anyways... How about yard work? Do you know? I mean, what if you went outside the church, turned left or right, and walked to the next house and did yard work, and then walked to the next house? What about some of us live in smaller communities than the Billings area? And the big thing is always centered around the schools. What about at sports events? You could assist at the concession stand. They always need help. Not that we get the money, but that we just come alongside and help. What about the nursing home? What can you do at the nursing home? What could you do? One thing we've done recently with with the help of some other churches is um, lap quilts, just small blankets, I don't know, three by three, and gave one to every resident. Here, this is from our church. God bless you guys. And I mean, physically gave to each person, not just dropped off the box and ran, but you know, there's some different things. How about just going door to door in, in your community and giving away a Bible? What if we skip church one Sunday and do some kind of service project? What's a service project? Well, it could be like you go to the city park and pick up trash, paint somebody's house, mow their lawn, and you do it in Jesus' name. You can probably think of some more things. But Bottom line, we need to connect with our community. Jesus said, freely you have received, freely give. And so if you go to www.peopleofthefreegift.com, you can access all of our articles, all of our videos, all of our podcasts, and everything else our ministry has to offer completely for free. For those who are in a position who are led of the Lord, we do appreciate your donations, and you can do so through that same website. We'd love to connect with you, and so you can catch up with us through the website, through Facebook, through Twitter, Google+, and Pinterest. And we'd love to hear your ideas, your comments, your questions for future podcasts.